Hello everyone and let's take a look at some of the other interesting SOLIDWORKS features and this time we will look at the dome feature and the shell feature. Let's start off with the dome feature. I'm going to create a new solid model by creating on the new part using the millimeters coordinate system, unit system and creating the sketch on the top lane. I'm going to use the rectangle with the uh, center option and make a rectangle to assign the dimensions for the length as 250 millimeters by 100 millimeters. Let's extrude it by 20 millimeters to finish up the solid model. Using the dome feature is pretty straightforward in its simplest way. Uh, if you don't see the dome feature in your command manager, we can always search by typing the dome here on this window and click on the dome and click on this uh, search. And if you see the dome, uh, we can sim simply click and drag it and place it on our command manager. Now if I click on the dome feature and select the face that I want to add uh, the dome to it, based on the distance that we use, we can add the dome to the surface. Once I click on the check mark, I can see the top surface has been added with the dome feature with the distance as we specified it. So this is a very simple to create the dome feature. I'm going to suppress this by right clicking on it to bring us back to our original sketch or the original sort, solid model. Now we will learn how to use the shell feature. Okay, So if I click on the shell feature, I can shell it out any surface that I want to choose in the solid model. For example, if I select this top face and use the distance of uh, 10 millimeters or the thickness of 10 millimeters. We can choose either the shell outward or by default it's inward. We can also take a look at the preview. And if I turn around the solid model in all directions, I can see the distance of 10 millimeters for the thickness has been maintained from all the three different directions. So once I click OK, I can get the part as shared with the thickness of 10 millimeters. I can also look at it uh, in the different um, option by using the hidden lines visible. And I can notice that the thickness is 10 millimeters all around. <coughs> I'm going to again switch it back to the solid model shaded with edges. And we can also use the different thicknesses for different faces in the shell feature. So if I right click on the edit uh, feature for the shell, 10 millimeter thickness is all the way around if we just use this first option here by selecting that particular face. But let us say I want to use multi thickness settings. Once I click on that input window to activate it, let's say I want to make it as a uh, five millimeters thickness and I choose all the side faces which are appearing in a different color than the top face that we selected for the 10 millimeter thickness. So all these side faces I select them for five millimeters thickness and click on this check mark. What I notice is that the thickness now has the um, different numbers in the different directions. So for all these side faces, I can see the uh, the side walls are having five millimeters thickness. We can verify that using the evaluate feature by clicking on evaluate tab and then measure. And I can select this edge and the other edge. We can notice that the distance it says is five millimeters. So that's the five millimeter thickness setting that we had. And the top face that we had selected where we had specified 10 millimeters uh, thickness, if we measure this overall distance, 
this is 20 millimeters and if we look at the inside edge here we get it as 10 millimeters which means the difference is remaining 10 millimeters and so the thickness of 10 millimeter has been specified with respect to the bottom face and the face that is visible in this uh, pocket. I can again look at the hidden lines visible and I can notice that the thickness from this line to the line that I'm selecting here is equal to 10 millimeters which is what our setting was. So the 10 millimeter thickness is in the downward direction and 5 millimeter thickness is all the way around on the side faces as we selected. So that is how we can create the multiple thicknesses for the shell feature. Let me bring it back to the shaded with edges option. And also while we are at this, uh, let me go back to the features tab and click on the mirror option. I can select the mirror feature by first uh, clicking on the face that I want to mirror and then I can choose either the features to mirror or faces or the bodies to mirror. In this case I'm going to use bodies to mirror and click on this body so that I can get another body replicated with, with respect to that uh, mirror face. Note that the merged solids is checked automatically. If I click on this check mark, I can get another solid body attached to the original solid body because of the mirror and uh, I get the shells on the both faces. Okay. We can also or reorder the features that we create. Let us say I want to use the mirror ahead of shell. So I can just click and drag this mirror and place it under the body's uh, boss extrude and we can have this longer pocket but again it comes with some sort of errors so let's take a look at what these errors are it says that we have the warning that there are missing items on the feature so i'm going to close that take a look at where is the error here so the warning is given in the shell feature because now there are missing items if i right click on it and edit feature it tells me that the missing face is there in that shell feature. Remember before uh, mirroring it, we had selected that side face for 5 millimeter thickness, which is no longer existing because of the uh, mirror that we've created. So I'm going to right click on it, delete it. And I can notice that the three side faces are still okay, except the fourth face side face which was uh, present before we created the mirror feature so I can add that in this case here and then click on this check mark and now the problem is fixed what if I want the shell feature only on the original solid model but not on the uh, one that we had created the mirror feature so to do that, what we can do is right click on the mirror, edit feature, and if we uncheck the merge solids option and then click on this check mark, we can notice that the shell feature is now only applied on the original solid model but not on the uh, model that we had done the mirror on. So there are different ways of using this shell feature, uh, you know, depending on how we want to create the solid model. And that's it for this video that explains how to create the shell features and the dome feature. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.